All right, American uh, fiction. Uh, mine starts with the MGM logo, and then Orion, and then MRC, and then T Street. I think is the order. Uh, so if there's a time difference, I'll just let I'll just say when each are. Um, so if yours starts with MRC, I think that's at about thirty two seconds, but. Anyway, I'm just going to start it. I'm fucking... Yeah, whatever. All right. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one. All right. So here's Metro Goldwyn Mayor. Some call me the Metro Goldwyn Mayor. And there's a lion also. Is that CG now? Do they CG it? Is it not real anymore? Uh, this is Orion logo. And then uh, in a few seconds, there will be the other one, which starts now. MRC. And then T Street. And now the movie's starting. <laughs> Yo, why'd this movie have to get political? Hmm. They really don't talk like real people. This is like one of those like this is like a right wing caricature YouTube video. Doorman video is a good way to put it. It's not about the acting, though. It's the writing. They feel like caricatures. It's like very clearly just like they're like the characters aren't characters. They're fucking props for the message. All right, so if I'm going to shit on this movie, I got to find another black movie that I really liked from this year. <laughs> oh, yeah, fucking... Uh, fucking... Um, what's that Atlanta documentary about the trans black... Uh, Kokomo City. Yeah, that was fucking dope. I'll I'll make sure to mention Kokomo City so people who haven't watched my videos before don't think I'm just shitting on the black movie at the Oscars. Honestly, yeah, Kokomo would have been a great documentary.
This is very boring. Is that Sterling's real voice? Funny title. It's very funny hearing it in that voice. It is kind of like the five bloods, isn't it? <laughs> I do like how X was AKS in the subtitles too. The f phonetic spelling is important here. Ah, uh, they should have said foe in the subtitles, not for. It's important. So is this just like making fun of like Tyler Perry? <laughs> yeah, old white woman first to stand up. Very intentional. I wonder what the film's angle is. Yeah, the music sucks. The music genuinely sucks in this. So it's one like the audience award at TIFF. Which is, I never 
I'm not, I'm usually never an audience award type kind of guy. Damn, Vice getting like. <sighs> Nineteen eighty Ford. Why was I thinking June twenty four? I'm like, that's not right. Vice getting nineteen eighty Ford over here. Damn, I should have voted for Agro Drift in the audience award. Fanboy didn't even type anything close to that. <laughs> I know you can't be too careful. Yeah, you're right. It's crazy because Twitch like IP bans you and it's not even just like, oh, you're banned from my chat. You're like banned from the whole platform and from streaming and like, what the fuck? That's that's way overboard. Like. When people complain about like getting blocked on Twitter or like banned in a subreddit or something or like banned in someone's YouTube chat, I consider that to be like a non issue. Like if you can create a new account in two seconds you're you really didn't block them <laughs> you just made it slightly less convenient for them to access your account that's all you did right somebody gets banned from the subreddit you don't even need an email address to sign up for reddit like if it's not worth if it's not worth clicking two extra buttons to access the community then there's no issue and you didn't really need it anyway you're just complaining and you just want attention Whereas Twitch shit, like, fuck, getting banned from the platform for a word? That's crazy. Yeah. A ban is basically like a warning. <laughs> a permanent ban is basically like a warning on most websites. Like, oh, just click two buttons and you're back. You're just on a different account. Who cares? If it's not worth it for you to log in and log out or have a different browser or something, if it's not worth it for you to access that community then it's not really that much of a tragedy if you're not there. Yeah, subreddit ban appeals are funny. It's like, you're you're free to talk about this exact same subject anywhere else on Reddit. Like, <laughs> you're also free to just create a new account and not be an asshole. <laughs> Like no one, no one can stop you if you really want to type those words. It's the only thing that anyone's preventing is just like, oh, just don't type them at me. <laughs> That's it. Type them somewhere else. Go type them somewhere else. Olivia, I had a dream last night and you were in it. We were in Vegas and there was some other random person there that I didn't know and she was being fucking weird. And I had to tell her to stop touching me and she got really upset. <laughs> and then we were in a grocery store. I have a lot of grocery store dreams. All my all my grocery store dreams are like endless labyrinthine like Costco's or Walmarts, just like huge places. And then I'll like get to the checkout 
and then be like, shit, I need to go back for something. And then I'll like try to find like the veggies or something. And then it was like, no, I can't. They're all, it'll always be just be in like an endless task. I'm shocked you have dreams, Olivia, because I've heard that everybody that does weed stops dreaming until they quit weed again. Harsh takes. Do you smoke weed? I got it. <laughs> My wrist hurts. Ow. Oh. I was at the gym today, so... I don't care about this person's goals or motivations at the moment, and it does it's not like nearly quirky or entertaining or funny enough for me to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. This definitely this definitely like has all the markings of a audience award winner, you know? Like festival but but <laughs> this feels like it would fit in perfectly at Sundance. Bamboozled but boring. Yeah, I haven't watched it. Bamboozled. I've heard that Bamboozled is this but better. Fuck. I'm I'm like very passively watching the movie. I have to send myself a reminder to make sure I don't forget to do something also. Is she pregnant? <laughs> Sorry.
I don't really care that she died. So. You know, they didn't really develop her much at all. <laughs> oh. My skin's nice because I never go outside. <laughs> if this one's best picture, I'm just like... It would be an unsurprising thing. You know, it would just be like, really, fucking really? They know each other. Dude, why would you need a permit for that? Maestro winning would be funny, though. <laughs> Maestro, Maestro winning would be a uh, worse than Green Book. <laughs> what was funny about Green Book was how like none of us even thought it was like it, it had a chance of winning. We're like, what? That that was a, that was one of the best clips. <laughs> Ooh, do I not have? Damn, I don't. Ooh, I wonder if I can order one. Man. All right, well, is there one that shows up tomorrow? Give me one that shows up tomorrow. He doesn't look anything like Tyler Perry. How are people? How were people at TIFF not bored by this? Because they're, it's a fucking. A lot of festival go don't don't get me wrong. I love Tiff. I love the energy at Tiff. Tiff has the best audiences, like legit. I don't know what reasons anybody saw this film. I don't know if it was like buzz or just they like the actors or like the concept or like it looks like it's a comedy. This is the type of comedy that clicks with like really old white ladies, right? Which is funny because it's almost like a part of the commentary. I don't, I don't even think it's attempting to be meta in that way, but this is definitely like a like progressive old white lady, 
like crowd pleasing movie. <laughs> Pretty sure Amanda the Jedi loved this. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Like, it's a very safe, unchallenging. Click the link. Get it by tomorrow. I think I will. Burp. What? I'm still waiting for anyone to like talk like a real person at any point in this film, you know? I'm just like... <sighs> There's so many weird layers to this movie that are like meta, but I d it don't seem intentional. <laughs> like everyone sounds like the writer, and the main character's a writer, and it's a kind of it's about writing, but like the writing is like no character sounds like a real person, but it's like that's I, that doesn't seem like an intentional sort of like this isn't like a parody film, right? It's not like Black Dynamite where you can like give credit to that kind of like meta potential layer. <sighs> All right, 25 feet cat 6 free delivery. All right. Oops. Damn it. I wanted to apply the coupon.
All right. Ethernet adapter. There we go. Yeah, the piano wasn't bad. That was the least offensive part of the soundtrack so far. What's that guy's name again? Oh, so I was confusing Sterling with Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright's the main character. Sterling K. Brown is the guy. Okay. That's why I was confused. Oh, yeah, he was in Waves. Sterling was in Waves. He was great in that. Sorry about that, everybody. It's fucking, uh, damn, I've remembered his name every other day. Keith, thank you. David, Keith David. Star of Has Been Hotel. <laughs> I've got to rewatch uh, They Live. Damn. He's great in Mass Effect, too. Captain Anderson or whatever.
trying to like write like a black black person. It's it's interesting conceptually, I guess. I can see why people say this is bamboozled though, because I I know vaguely what bamboozled is. Second season of Halo is getting good early reviews. What was the what were the <laughs> Metacritic Halo TV series? <laughs> All right, 61 generally favorable for the first season based on 20 critic reviews. Halo season 2, five critic reviews, it's 62. So it's going to be about the same. <laughs> And this is a very selective, small sample size. So I don't know why you thought that was worth mentioning, but okay. All right, you're going for you're going for Rotten Tomatoes. You're counting fresh rotten. Let's see what it says on Rotten Tomatoes. Halo, season one, Rotten Tomatoes. Halo season one, seventy percent, and then Halo season two, ninety percent. But that means nothing. They're just fresh to rotten. It's fresh to rotten. That's it. Look at Metacritic. It's 62. It's 62. Out of 100? Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, you have the flu. Yeah. <laughs> should I, uh, should we do blowout after this or what? Or more Oscar shit? Because I got to watch both of them before like Monday anyway. Is this movie funny? Eh. Yeah, white people just want to feel absolved. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Don't I get adaptation vibes? I mean, what makes adaptation special is not exactly what this is. It's very bland. Yeah, this movie this movie is definitely for grandmas. Definitely for progressive grandmas. Or libs. Don't even have, not even progressive. We could just say like Progressive doesn't even need to be the word. There's like nothing special at all about this. Biden would love this. Did Obama put this on his list? Obama puts out his like favorite movies of the year list all the time. Obama favorite movies 2023. Let's see what he put. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I called that so quickly. <laughs> Holdovers. Blackberry. Obama put Blackberry on his list? Based. Damn. Obastma. Oppenheimer, American fiction. Anatomy of a Fall is great. Monster, past lives, and air. I haven't seen air, and I haven't seen monster. Damn. Matt Johnson's on uh, been seen by Obama. It's funny how Air got no nominations, but it's considered to be like a better version of the Cheetos movie. <laughs> and then what is Monster? Oh, I saw Monster. That was a Corrado one. There's too many movies called Monster. Sorry. Yeah, I've seen it. It's good. Yeah, Obama definitely has like mostly like not not too challenging. Not too challenging in terms of his taste, but Blackberry is a fucking based pick there just cuz I had no idea he was even exposed to it at any point. I mean, it's. I guess it's supposed to be like laugh out loud hysterical that he's also gay. Like, is that... What sushi you get? What what rolls you got? <laughs> B 
Biden gave Flaming Hut a positive review. <laughs> it's also fucking corporate propaganda. <laughs> so that's the funniest thing. But Biden finally tells the, t- tells about what movies he likes. It's like, oh yeah, the the fictional American dream propaganda bootlicking suck up to your fucking corporate overlords film. Yeah. Yeah, Biden saw that and was like, everybody should see this, actually. Okay, cool. This movie, like, I don't understand how this movie can, like, pretend to make this commentary when it is a very easy, very digestible, very simple, uncomplicated, unoriginal even film. Like, that's it. For it, I think it, I think it makes it worse that it's making that commentary. But did I also... I think I felt that way. I'm remembering now it was like... Uh, I had the same issue with um, A Star is Born. Like, there was some commentary that it was just, like, directly contradicting in the film itself. Like, just not being self-aware. Yeah, Johnny Walker product placement, obviously. Pedophile. Should have said pedophile. I can't believe the subtitle said, you know what I mean. Can't believe the subtitle said, you know what I mean. Say na mean. Yeah, it's like there's throughout the film, it's like there's an unintentional meta layer of comedy. Like there's no like I don't believe that this is a parody of 
like basic movies. It's a basic bitch movie. It's it's it just kind of is what it's criticizing, you know. Yeah, I had the same problem with *The Star Is Born*. I remember they were like one of the themes of the movie was like, "No, you gotta like, you can't just do what people like want. You gotta be yourself. You gotta be unique. Do something that people have never done before." It's like, okay, this is the third remake. You made an Oscar bait movie. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like, Thanks for sharing a Lights Camera Jackson tweet. I like that he has two likes on the tweet. That's fun. Should I follow Lights Camera Jackson? Let's follow. He's followed by the Pet Boys Cinematic Universe, <laughs> which is so fitting. <laughs> That's the most fitting thing in the world. He's followed by like On Cinema at the Cinema fan club. He's followed by Janus. He's followed by Janus Films. He's followed by Criterion. That's so funny. IFC, okay. Justin Benson, okay. Rocco, that's fitting. I remember Rocco made fun of him. Rocco Botti. Bot Bote? Yeah, definitely gotta follow Lights Camera Jackson. He's a little gremlin. You know? <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy how he has ha he had like the most like easy obvious head start to do what he wants to do and he's like one of the least recognized and least respected people in his field. Like nobody takes him serious. Nobody 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 follows him to get advice on or recommendations for movies like nobody everybody's kind of just peeking in to be like i wonder what that kid <laughs> who talked like an adult <laughs> and pretended to review movies is doing now and he's doing the same thing and it's less cute because he's not a kid anymore Father. I'm like very uninvested in this movie. It's not nearly as pretentious as uh, fucking uh, Maestro, though, at least. Ooh. Okay, that's some sushi. You are going to lose your shit if you ever come to Vancouver, though. If you ever if you ever get Vancouver sushi, you're gonna like you're not gonna be the same ever. It might ruin you actually. We'll see. No, I mean like I'm looking at the sushi and I can I can tell by looking at it. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not saying what you're eating is bad. I'm saying that there's a different unexperienced level of sushi that you are not aware of. <laughs> mm. 
All right, we're going to drink Hard Day IPA. Hard Day Northwest IPA by uh, Red Truck Beer. I like this IPA. Um, it's one of the better ones that exists. Uh, this is probably the only beer I like from this brewery, but... Well, if you ever want to come to either Vancouver Film Festival or Vancouver Furry Convention, you can plan for those things. Uh, probably too late for the one coming up because Vancouver is in March, but uh, the film festival's in consistently in like late September, early October. Um the film festival will be like kind of rainy. I mean, it's also kind of rainy in March, but Vancouver's the best in the summer weather-wise, but if you're just coming for the food and events, it's not really, I mean, the food's still great no matter what the season and the events are the same. Mmm. Dependable IPA. I like it. I like that it's in a small can, too. A lot of IPAs come in in, like, really big cans. Sometimes I don't feel like committing for a huge IPA. Oh, my God. Gina Carano discrimination lawsuit. This is awesome. Elon Musk will pay for her legal bill. Because of... <laughs> is he actually going to, or is he going to back out? That's so funny. No way. Hollywood Reporter. No way he's going to. No way he's actually going to. Elon Musk making good on a promise to foot the bill. Ooh, okay, he's actually doing it. This is fucking hilarious. Elon Musk, Gina Carano v. Disney. This is fucking amazing. I'm so happy. This is going to be so much good content. I'm sending this to Arun Brown right now. <laughs> I'm sending this to LaDrom James right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about this movie. I'm not paying attention to it. If this was Netflix, I would 1.5 times speed it. This is, I mean, we, we, like, what you see is what you get. It's very bland. Like, I don't care about this. What do I give it? A four right now? Five? I guess five. If Holdovers gets a five, then I guess this gets a five. They're both about the same. Just like imagine it in your head and you've got the movie. It's the last fucking one. Remember when we were watching May December and like people were asking me questions in chat and I was like I was like talking about a couple of things and I'm like okay wait wait and I'm like paying attention to the movie I'm like okay I'm going to have to hold that thought and then like 30 fucking 40 45 minutes go by I'm like okay now that <laughs> now that the end credits are going like I'll talk about that thing again it's like there are movies that command my attention right May December is one of them Tar is one of them they're films that I get engrossed in. This is just so... It's not doing anything special. It's just so... Like, I don't... I can't pay attention to it because it's not commanding my attention because it's not exceptional. It's not exceptional is the problem. I think Maestro is like a huge piece of shit, though. So at least this is not Maestro, at least from what I can tell. Fucking 30 minutes ago, I was just thinking about random shit in my head. I was like, damn. I thought about, I thought about like my fucking masturbation habits. I was like, okay, it's got to be like high on the high end of like, like at least 95% is just scar porn. If we're thinking things that I've like, 
jerked off to. It's got to be at least 95%. That's what I was thinking about like 30 minutes ago. Literally, I'm just like so uninvested in this shit. I was like, hmm, I wonder I wonder if we were like break it down in a percentage. Like how many of it would be just this one character? You can literally go back in this fucking video. There was a moment where I was like, hmm, like completely unrelated to the movie. I said out loud, hmm, and I kind of nodded. That's what it was about. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Scar from the Lion King is what I'm talking about. I didn't. I didn't realize there was anybody in this chat that wasn't already aware of that. It's my fucking. Oh. I wish I could talk. Final Douglas, I wish I could talk about that. I don't want to be like too fucking inappropriate on my Twitch stream. I don't want to break any TOS. But there's an update to that story. But I think it's like too explicit to talk about. I just don't want to push it. I feel like there's a higher le level of scrutiny for like queer people and especially furries in terms of like what they talk about online, you know? Like, I think I think there's a lot of people that would be quick to see a conversation that I'm having just expressing like a real thing about like, oh, this is a thing about my sexuality or like a sexual experience that would not hold that same level of scrutiny to, you know, one of the biggest podcasts on YouTube, fucking the official podcast where like every single episode, every single guest, they're like, what's the weirdest thing you jerk off to? Talk, us, talk, talk to us about your ding dong. I love Charlie. Don't get me wrong, but. It's kind of funny that people are so, you know, pearl clutchy about like sexual conversations on YouTube when like he I think he has a much more, you know, probably a much younger audience than I do. Not that he explicitly like tries to, uh, you know, have children in his audience or anything, but just the, the nature of how popular he is. And that's like every episode of the podcast. Right. Whereas if it, imagine if it was a drag queen. Imagine if it was a drag queen podcast or like a furry furry drag queen podcast. And every single episode, every single guest, they're like, what's the weirdest thing you jerked off to? Like that would be like people would be trying to cancel that, right? No hate on Charlie. I love Charlie. And also at least one of the people on his podcast is kind of a, a demented conservative. <laughs> but Oh, it's funny how I didn't even have to say who it was. <laughs> no, that's funny. I won't elaborate on that too much. All right. No, that's fine. That's fine. I just was, I was just kind of a fit because Kaya, when I was on the podcast, I was like, he was so, like, at least from what I could tell, like, he was. I don't know if this was like a mask he was putting on. Like he was so nice and friendly and just been like, Ooh, he heard the furry thing, which by the way, I wasn't like bragging about or anything. It was just like, Oh, they asked me about like what I jerk off to. I'm like, okay, how do I answer this question? I have to say that I'm a furry. Like that's all I jerk off to. <laughs> right. Uh, if I'm going to be honest and not make up a part of myself. And then the whole, like Kaya, I remember on the podcast being like, Ooh, actually, I find this subject very interesting. Um, you know, tell f feel free to like tell me more about this anytime, sort of thing. Like, and then fucking like, tw how many episodes later? Like, like a year later or something. Same person on the podcast. I forget who the guest was. They were talking. I guess this was like maybe he's just being a different person because the guest is different. But they talk about furries, and he's like. Yeah, if, you know, it's crazy that people don't know, like, if if, they, if you see a furry at a park or something, and, like, if, if someone's kid, like, wants to go, like, hug a furry, it's crazy that people take pictures with furries and let their kids around them. Like, people don't know that they're, like, actual sex perverts and that they're, like, pedophiles. And he's saying this on the podcast, I'm like, dude, if you had this fucking problem with furries, why didn't you just say that when I was on? That's kind of, like, two-faced and, like, really fucking pathetic. Like, a furry is on your podcast that I guess you, like 
respect a little, you know, or maybe, I don't know. Like, what, what was that? And then same podcast later. It's like, we, you should have said that to my face if that's how you feel about me. Right? Like, that's kind of fucking disgusting. Anyway, <laughs> not trying to bring up drama. <laughs> and this happened many years ago. And I just like, he unfollowed me on Twitter when I sent him a DM about it. I was like, hey, what's this about? <laughs> so, okay. I mean, the movie is so uninteresting that I'm literally just talking about fucking furry shit, masturbation, and podcast random drama that isn't even really drama. Just people I am disappointed in, I guess. It was also kind of, let's just be honest, it was also kind of fucking weird that, like, going on the podcast, and I'm not, you know, I love Charlie. Love Charlie. I love... I, f I can't remember the names of the other two hosts. But I'm po I have positive experiences with everybody on that podcast except Kaya. And only Kaya, just because of him making weird blanket statements about entire groups of people that I happen to be a part of and then kind of being like a pussy about it. <laughs> um, yeah, Jackson and Hugbees are cool. Thank you for reminding me their names. Or for at least from my experience, from what I my experience with them. But I will say, I will say, it was kind of weird recording that podcast, and then, you know, that information kind of comes out like, oh, by the way, I'm a furry because I can't talk about like I can't honestly talk about what I masturbate to if I don't bring that up. Like that's, that's it was kind of like okay, I can either lie or just be honest about myself. So I was honest about myself. And then the thumbnail for that episode was like a heart and a fox. I mean, like, ooh. And then it's like, okay, well, is that what the whole episode is about now? Is like me being a furry? By the way, I'm not a fox. I'm not like, you know, I'm not like attracted to fox. That's like it, you know, like we're we're so far back. It's so, it we're so early in terms of like furries even becoming like, normal or accepted like now people are like kind of cool with it but it is kind of fucking weird right yeah it is like well it's it's like making it the focus of the thumbnail but not even in an accurate way it would be one that like it would be cool if it was like oh a lion or a horse, like I, the animal that I either am or that I've explicitly stated that I've attracted to. I don't even remember what I said in the episode, but I just it's just one of those weird things where it's like, oh, OK, I guess that defines me and it not even in an accurate way. And I'm just kind of like a a token. So I'm just going to assume Kaya did the thumbnail, but it's not a huge transgression or anything. I'm just saying something that felt a little weird. It's probably not enough to actually say publicly on the internet, but oops, I just did it. Sorry. This movie's so boring. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, I shouldn't be allowed near boring movies. I shouldn't be allowed near boring movies. This is why I skip shit. Why do people want me to finish fucking boring movies? Why do people want me to finish any of this shit? You people don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Do you understand that I can't pay attention to something that's boring? Do you understand that it doesn't matter if I finish it or not? If I'm not into it, how? Like, what do you want? What do you want? I'm not into it. It's so... If I was in a theater filled with quiet people, this exact same conversation would be happening in my head. It would be happening in my head. I would be paying just as much attention to the movie. Through no fault of my own. I don't know if I have ADHD. I don't know if like neurodivergent people are just like not allowed to talk about movies on their channel or whatever the people are trying to pretend at this point. Well, I don't want to do subway surfers because that's like just you're doing a different thing at that point even. I know you're not going to be mad, Sonix. I'm just like... At the very least, I want to see every frame of every best picture winner just so I can talk about them because there, there's some movies from other categories that I might just fucking skip and I'll include in the... Uh, 
members slash Patreon versions. I've done that like three times maybe now. Where just like if I talk about a movie that I didn't finish, I just put it in the members Patreon thing. Um, But I at least want to get to the end credits on the best pictures one so nobody's asking why it's not in the main video. Things that people actually are wanting to hear my opinion on. My opinion's not going to change between now and the end of the movie. It's like when you've when you've when you've spent a fucking hour and your mind is wandering to like every other possible it's like get me at I'm, I'm having a real get me out of here off uh I didn't do anything just 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 let me out moment. That's what I'm experiencing right now. I mean, I can't view every frame. You're, you're right. I can't view every frame. I would just like to see every... This is like so boring. This is so boring. <sighs> if this turned into night swim from this moment on, that would be great. Oh my god. Somebody please do that. That would be that would be an example of if I if I stopped the movie at an hour through and the rest of it was night swim, then you got me. You found the one or two movies that like if I <laughs> stop at the halfway mark, it drastically changes what my experience of the movie would be. You found you found the one. Cuz then I would forgive the first half before being a complete misdirect. <laughs> I would forgive the fr I would be like, "Okay, retrospectively the first half has changed." You know, this and like one cut of the dead, you know. <laughs> if it if this turned into night swim. I feel like I could just pee the rest of the movie in the bathroom and be fine. I feel the compulsive need to talk and break the silence. It's uncomfortable if I'm not saying things out loud. And I feel that way, like, in a theater, like, for a bad movie like this, not, I mean, it's very bland. <laughs> Meister was more interesting to me in terms of like thinking about why it's bad. This is more like just I'm not even I can't even engage with it. I can't even engage with it in the slightest. I can't even like acknowledge it. You know? This is why I don't like Sundance. I know that this is a TIFF movie, but it feels like so many fucking Sundance movies are literally this. Where I'm like, okay, I'm going to a film festival. I want to avoid crowd pleasing movies. That's why I'm at a film festival. <laughs> I want to avoid the fucking blockbuster. Like you you know? That's why I'm at a film festival. <laughs> like this could have had a big fucking advertising budget and it's just no different. And it's like, oh, it's not a festival movie then. Same movie. Fucking I don't know what Brotherhood of the Wolf is. So should I watch Blowout next? Because I could start ripping it to my hard drive now. Nyad. Because I'm going like, I'm making a quick 
little uh, couple day trip out of town. Uh, just driving to another town to do some stuff. Um, and I'll be gone Thursday, coming back Saturday. So only a couple days. But when I leave back here on Saturday will t depend entirely on like if I drank too much on Friday and I'm hungover. And I need to watch Blowout on Saturday because I'm streaming on Sunday. So, you know, maybe I'll just maybe I'll leave a little bit of room so that if I'm super hungover on Saturday and can't and can't safely drive in the morning, then I don't necessarily have to come back here and watch Blowout if I watch it today. So if we're watching, yeah, we can watch Blowout after this. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, it's my podcast recommendation. Uh, Brian De Palma. Um, so yeah, I'm going to rip that right now. We'll watch it right after this. Brian De Palma's a sweaty. Knees weak, arm spaghetti. There's De Palma on his sweater already. Uh, between, well, Shay's making steak. And if uh, the steak is ready at the end of this watch along, then I will take a short break and eat some steak. And also, I think, I think he might have, like, bought pastries for, like, Kyle's birthday or something. So maybe I should probably go down there. Even though his, birth even though his birthday was yesterday. I'd probably be rude. I'm also going to ask Gael how much money people gave him on his birthday. Because you are still... Oh, we're not doing a cooking stream. He's he's cooking steaks. He, I'm not cooking steaks. Gael's birthday was uh, two days ago. But you can still send him money at paypal.me slash vexelg. Make sure to say it's birthday money. That's the door sound. That's the door sound effect. 119... Three, one nineteen, Oh, it's, is it just the N word? I've got like a pretty sizable timestamp compilation for uh, Door Creek sound effect. I wonder when I'm going to make that compilation video. Because I would love to just make a compilation of all of them. Hopefully me making that video makes it so that other people are too scared to use it in the future, and then that would just solve my problem. All right, it's finally getting interesting. Here we go. One hour, 21 minutes. Nope, not interesting anymore. Never mind. All right, we're ripping the Blu-ray. I like arugula. Dude, I'm a fucking... I'm kind of a veggie slut. Mostly leaves. We did like a fucking make your own burrito thing night at a friend's birthday party on Saturday. It was just fuck. I thought it was going to be the N-word.
Yeah, I was gonna say like it's I've I've there's been I can't I cannot count on my fingers how many times I've like just been eating some kind of leaf like plain that was just out and there and people are like taken aback by it and weirded out. I'm like do people hate vegetables that much? Like I get it. People need to like have dressing on it, I guess. I don't, depending on the vegetable. Like arugula, I don't need dressing. Lettuce, I don't need dressing. Dressing. Spinach, don't need dressing. Cilantro at burrito night. There was a bunch of cilantro like stem stalks and leaves or whatever. I was just fucking like chowing down on them. My friend was like, you're a horse. I'm like, yep, I am. Just fucking eat them leaves. They're out. If I was if I was really trying to like play up my horse shit, I would just constantly be eating carrots for sure. But I do like leaves a lot. Apples are good too. There's certain kind of apples I like. Carrots are not my favorite. I do like carrots, but they're not like I'm a carrots and dip kind of guy, whereas like cilantro, arugula, or just like lettuce, butter lettuce, steamed kale. Like any one of those things, like I can just fucking eat like no dressing. I can just like yeah, I'm not I'm not as much of an oats guy either. As in I I'll eat anything, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat almost anything, but yeah, I'm not huge into broccoli cauliflower. I'm a leaf kind of guy. Yeah, motherfucking tree stars. You're absolutely right. Oh no, Olivia, you've got the bad gene. You've got the bad cilantro is soap gene. It's a genetic uh, thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a cilantro slut. I'll put like fucking five times as much cilantro in something than any rational person would. And it's still not enough. <laughs> hmm. That's probably why I love pho so much and like Vietnamese food. It's just the cilantro. Bon mi. Vietnamese food has tons of cilantro in it. I love it. Oh, he's being so successful being dishonest and making slop. Still, it's word 90 minutes through the two-hour movie. Oh, white progressive lady... We're so progressive because we want, we're, it's so repetitive. Oh, it's critical about ourselves. Ha ha. We're so woke. Like who cares? I feel like there's there's this weird sort of like masturbatory self-aggrandizing like just like oh if I can publicly criticize myself in a way that I think is like real and like self-deprecating but not actually real then I earn points because then I can show other people that I'm critical of myself or my own communities. There's this weird thing that I've noticed is particularly on fucking Reddit. Reddit and Twitter where like in certain communities it's happened in the YS, YMS community. It's been a long time since it's happened, but um, like many years. I don't It has happened in the distant past. Furry community, et cetera, et cetera. 
where like you'll see this weird outcry criticizing something that people are claiming is the norm but you never see really what they criticize it, 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 people will be like damn there's like so much there's like so much sexism in this community it's like i've seen more people complain about sexism than the sexism it's like one of those things where it's like there's so much there's so much of this in this community it's like sexism is just a random example where it's like okay I've seen 10 posts complaining about this thing and then like one comment with no upvotes about the thing that you're saying is like rampant and everywhere. And I can't find any other examples. It seems like everybody's like on the same page about this, but we're all being like, oh yeah, this community, this community is rampant with this thing that probably happens that I haven't seen, but I'm just going to stand firmly against this thing that, you know, it's, it feels kind of performative and virtue signally. Yeah, it's uh, the same thing happens in the furry community and like Twitter and all that shit. Like, I don't know. Like, there's there's posts all the fucking time about how like anti woman the furry community is, but like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how much I see that like. I'm sure there's people. I'm sure there's people that are like sexist in the furry community, but but to like brand the furry community like as a whole as like that is like that's so not true. That's very untrue. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird and you'll see like fucking 8 billion retweets on a thing just being like damn, I keep so mad that I keep seeing all this of this one thing. It's like, well, is that because of who you're hanging out with? Is that because of the people you surround yourself with? Like, what the fuck? This is so annoying. I just, I am so just not into this movie. All right, Olivia's locked and loaded. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be watching a better movie in a bit. I'm going to eat some steak and then watch Blowout. I can't, like, the Academy fucking sucks. Nominate... Nominate Kokomo City. If you really if you really don't want to get criticized over not having a single like black movie in your fucking best pictures list, nominate Kokomo City. There's a better black movie. Oh wait, you never heard of it. Did it have a four year consideration campaign? I gotta check this shit out. Alright. FYC campaign. Let's see. Where's everyone's F FYC campaign? How did I find all of them last year? I think there was like a Oscars for your consideration campaigns. 2024. Is there a list? Does, can someone help me find a list of the um, for your consideration campaigns for 2024? Because I want to see what they saw. Where was that fucking... There was a, like a link... There was a really easy link that had like all of them. I know, I know I can find Disney's. I'm just wondering if there's like a link for, oh, here we are. Awards Watch. Studio FYC pages for 2022 2023 film awards season. Is there one for 2020? Okay, this is the link that I had. All right, here we go. 2020. 
Yeah, so this is the list from a website that I used for last year. So what if I... Damn, they... How come I don't... Awards Watch website, you did such a great job compiling them last year. Do you not have this for this year? Oh, here we go. I think I found it. I found it. I found it. Here's the link, everybody. Here's the link. Thank you. And also, uh, you found it before I did Prince of, of Nothing. So, oops. Didn't see it. All right. So we're going to go down the list. Uh, let's do this. Let's let's actually do this after um, between uh, this and blowout. Uh, and then uh, if the steak's not ready exactly yet, by the time this movie's over, then we can just we can make a highlight out of this or whatever, and I'll pause it and come back or whatever. Yeah, of course it can be a highlight. All right. I love I love going through through the for you consideration. Did we not do that last year? Because I remember I think I did that for my Oscars video at least. But all right, I gotta pee, and this movie is just so boring. Um, we're almost done the movie. The holdovers was better. The holdovers was better than this. Okay, send me the link for the Santa Freedom thing. I'll just make sure. I'll check over it later. Disney one looks like they're giving online screeners now. What does that mean? Like to anybody? All right. Hopefully it doesn't get demonetized, Olivia. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that word is... Uh... Apparently, apparently my 420 awards video is not monetizable. Despite all of the clear considerations we took. I think I need to like make a video about that getting demonetized so I can make up for like, I don't know, a portion of the money that I've lost over every single one of my fucking major release videos over the past fucking five months being absolutely fucking botched. Saw X, copyright claimed. Exorcist Believer, copyright claimed. 420 Awards, demonetized. What else do we got? There was another one that got good, borked, wasn't there? My FNAF video was supposed to be my like fucking lifesaver for like December. And then just like it, I thought it was going to be like a big video. And then like people didn't even like it. <laughs> and then no, like, <laughs> I thought it was going to get like a, at least 200,000 views. People just didn't like what I did, which is weird because I thought I was doing something like funny and interesting, but I guess just people didn't gel with the humor like in my main audience, I guess. I think my core audience, like my Patreon people probably liked the video, but like 
the average person the average yms viewers just didn't like it which is weird 420 awards was monetized for the first like maybe 20,000 views and then just demonetized and now i'm arguing about it on twitter over youtube with youtube right now poor things video not a huge video my revenue in January is like half of what I've made every other month this year. And I've been like really just the reason why I've been doing fucking sponsor shit. The reason why I've started all that is because I'm like trying to like actually make some fucking money because there's like four people that owe me a lot of money. And there's an RV that got set on fire that we're still paying four that we're waiting for the insurance company to pay out on and that's taken over a year and i had to lawyer up and so i had to spend money on a lawyer to try and figure out this shit i'm trying to do my residency application i can't find a lawyer that's willing to do that for less than ten thousand dollars u.s I'm just like absolutely pissed about everything. <sighs> All right, blowout is ripped. Didn't flash too well. Yeah, that's before what I'm talking about. Flash did well. Everything between from the Saw video up until now has been a disaster for me financially <laughs> through a series of very annoying and unfortunate predicaments involving copyright and demonetization and other factors. It's not your fault, Olivia. Also, don't send me any money because you do that every time I fucking. Yeah. I'm still making more money than you. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you don't have to send me any money. I'm just trying to live a, a lifestyle of living in two places at once because I don't have residency in the country that my boyfriend lives in and he can't work in Canada. <laughs> so it's double double expenses until I can get that figured out and even figuring that out is an expensive process so that's why I'm trying to make more money and if they pay me out on that fucking insurance thing for the fucking RV that got set on fire then I'll probably be fine. <laughs> but they're fuck. It seems like they're trying to find like a loophole to not pay us. Isn't that crazy? We got arsoned. We got arsoned by some random person in Newfoundland. And we're still paying for the fucking the the RV. They're literally just trying to find a loophole to not pay us. They they thought we'd fucking forget about it. They thought that we'd like just like, oh, this isn't important. Even though we're paying like $800 a month for this shit. So we had to lawyer up and be like, hey, the police very clearly determined that they weren't even suspecting us of committing arson and that it was some other guy that they that's like in their system that has lit a bunch of other things on fire in the same neighborhood. Obviously, we didn't do it. Obviously, we're not committing insurance fraud. The police have determined this. Hello, why aren't you paying us out? And then a year later, they're like, uh, we're going to assign someone else to your case and then start the whole process over again. Meanwhile, we're paying $800 a month for a thing that doesn't exist because it got set on fire over a year ago. Why are we... Why are we forced to get insurance if they're not going to fucking pay us out in the exact circumstance that we need insurance for? Right? It would be one thing if we just were like, oh, we don't need insurance, and we didn't, we're allowed to not get it. 
No, you're legally supposed to have insurance. It covered the thing. Pay us out, you fucking assholes. ICBC, I'm going to go so fucking scorched earth on your fucking ass if you don't pay us out. I am so fucking pissed. It's a government insurance company. You'd think that they wouldn't be like that shitty compared to like a like a corporate one. But I guess they're just as profit driven, so You're thinking of CIBC, Sonix, not ICBC. Like we're forced to get insurance. Pay us out. Or just don't force people to get insurance if you want to not cover people. If you don't want to cover people, don't get people to fucking pay into it. Yeah, ICB... What? ICBC is a Chinese bank? Oh. Good flavor. Damn. Peach, peach high noon. It's a solid flavor. No, yeah, we know they should be paying us out. That's why I had to lawyer up. That's why I had to get a lawyer. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because I'm probably not supposed to publicly. I don't fucking know. I'm just like... I can't fucking pay attention to this movie. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going, I have a lot of anxiety, and when a movie's boring, it causes me to just think about uh, every problem I have right now. I don't want to be introspective right now. I don't want to think about all my problems. I'm very sad. YouTube's telling me my fucking video can't be monetized for the 420 Awards, even though we went out of our way out of our way to follow the very explicit, very clear gui guidelines. It couldn't be clearer. And then they're, they're like, oh, sorry, this isn't the answer that you hoped for. Please refer to this to this link where it shows our policy. I'm like, yeah, we followed the policy. We followed the policy. It says that we get de demonetized if we, if we showed how to use drugs or showed people using drugs. It showed that we can get monetized if there's humorous references to drugs, that is at most what is in that video. We explicitly say over and over and over, hey, don't do drugs. We explicitly say that over and over and over in the video because we got de demonetized the year before. So, you know, if if you're if if you're if if the whole demonetized nature of the video is just the fact that there's 420 in the title and there's weed symbols on the stage at this awards show that is, by the way, not awarding people for smoking weed. It's not a weed competition where you give it a fucking award to the people who smoke the most weed. It's a fucking movie awards show by a crazy person who decided to do weed branding. That's it, and we're making fun of it, and we're being critical of it anyway. So what the fuck did we, what terms of service did we break? How is that not acceptable for advertisers? If you want to change your fucking rules, if you want to say that the rules are different and you can't have 420 in the title or you can't show a weed leaf in the background or you can't make fun of an award show that has weed branding, then put that in your fucking terms of service. Put that in the link that you sent me. Why would you send me... Why would you send me that fucking article of your very clearly stated guidelines that I already followed? It's so demoralizing and depressing. I'm pissed. I started today just being so fucking depressed. Not today, but when I got back home and checked those fucking messages. It's on Twitter right now. I feel like I have to, like, just make a video about it and post it to my main channel just to, like, make a fraction of a fraction of, like, the ad revenue back for all the bullshit that's happened the past fucking five months. Like, when I've needed the money the most, it's been the worst. I would have put I I I would I would have had different spending habits a year ago if I knew that 
this is the situation I was in right now. And I'm not poor. I'm making more than you, Olivia. Don't send me money. I'm just very annoyed and I'm not in a position that I should realistically be in with this audience and viewer size and uh, point in my life and age and etc. Following the rules explicitly, undeniably, not up to interpretation. Show me, like, I'm just asking them on Twitter. I'm just asking them, like, give me a timestamp. Where the fuck do you think we showed someone injecting drugs? Nobody watched. It took them two weeks to say this, by the way. Hey, we're looking into it. That was two weeks ago. The video has been viewed 100,000 times, which is, like, lower than usual. Probably fucking... Probably fucking borked in the algorithm because it's not monetized anyway. Oh, finally, something interesting is happening. Shoot him. Oh, they believe he's a fugitive for saying he's a fugitive? Oh, this is... Okay, this is a four. This is easily not a four. Wait, this is fake, right? This is fake. This is not even happening. This is like in a dream or somebody... No, yeah. Then, then it's going to zoom out and he's like, and that's the book I wrote. This is the book he wrote. That's what I'm calling. There's no way that this is happening. Yeah. Then it zooms out and then he's like, then I finally finished my book about me writing a book. And we're going to pretend like I'm Charlie Kaufman and it's so meta. Yeah. All right. There we go. Easy. He's been picking different endings? Yeah, I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> I haven't been. <laughs> I'm not going to deny that. I'm very uninterested. I like the peach flavor, though. That's a positive. I don't think it's as low as a three. A three would be more interesting than a four on my rating scale. I think I'll give it a generous five and then never watch it ever. You know, five is usually what I give movies that I skip, and I feel like I essentially skipped it by just talking over 90% of it, so I feel like that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, we're giving it a, we're giving it a, it a five because I essentially didn't finish it, even though I was watching it the entire time. I think that's fair. Boo. Could have easily just not watched the movie <laughs> and gotten the same experience, but two hours of my life back and not me like how many how many weird things did I like div how much personal information did I just randomly divulge during this uh, <laughs> watch along? Fucking like I talked about masturbation habits. I talked about some like weird drama that isn't even a drama from like years ago. About like a podcast that I was on, uh, like I talked about like a f an insurance issue that I'm having. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I said like maybe like four, three, or at least three different things, like four or five things that I'm like, if I was just watching something else, I would just I wouldn't have said those things. There's like no reason for me to just say I wouldn't have unpromptedly just said those things on the internet. I was just struggling for like something to not engage with the movie because it was fucking boring. I was just struggling. Yeah, if you ever need to get a confession out of me, show me American fiction. Jeez. I continuously spell desperate D E S P A R A T E when it's E R A T E, and it pisses me off that I never learn. Des, because desperate sounds like it's an A there, not desperate. Des, desperate. It doesn't sound like desperate. It de sounds like desperate. Sounds like an A, not an E. Yeah, I'm going to see if the steak, I'm going to see if Shay's made his food. If not, uh, well, we'll come back and maybe I'll go through some of like the um, for your consideration campaign shit and then watch a good movie. It's crazy to have essentially not watched a film despite looking at and listening to it for the entire two hour runtime. That's why that's that's the only reason why I've ever like skipped through a movie. I don't think people understand that like their brain is in everyone else's brain. It's crazy just how little people accept neurodivergent people. You know? That's that's essentially what that whole drama was about. People being like, no, you have to have my brain. Sorry, your brain's atypical? Sorry, you experience things differently? No. No. That's illegitimate. You have to experience things the way I experience things. Otherwise, it's not real. Very sad. Oh, is that what I did with Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris? Yeah, if you asked me whether or not I finished Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, I would have said no. But apparently I shopped on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> apparently I finished the movie <laughs> through some technicality, maybe. You think that's a bit dramatic, Callum? Well, maybe you're fucking regarded. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was the most uh, regarded comment I've ever seen, actually. All right. Boring, useless, disposable society would be no different if you didn't make the movie.
All right, I'm going to check on that uh, steak that's supposedly being made, and uh, perhaps maybe it's not ready yet, but I'm at least going to check. Um, and then when I come back... So if it's... Re okay, there's a couple possibilities. If the steak is ready and waiting for me downstairs, I'm going to be back in like maybe 20 minutes because I'm going to hang out with my roommates and eat steak. If it's not ready yet, I'm going to come back pretty quickly and we're going to go through the For Your Consideration campaign um, awards uh, thing, highlight, and record a bit of it until the steak is ready and then go back and eat steak. Either, excuse me, either way, we should be able to watch uh, Blowout tonight. It's not even 7 p.m. for me. Um, so I've ripped Blowout. I'll change the stream title. Uh, so give me a bit, and I'll leave you with some tunes in the meantime. Thank you so much. So yeah, 5 out of 10. On literally only just because I didn't watch the movie. <laughs> and I couldn't have. I couldn't have. I would have been doing the exact same fucking thing in my head at the theater. This has happened many times before. I know myself. Like, I just, I can't. I literally can't. I don't think, I don't think people realize. <laughs> I don't think people realize that their brains are not everyone else's brain. I don't think people realize that. It's so fucking crazy. Anyway, yeah. It, the movie's not, probably not 5 out of 10, but it's, I have to give it a 5 out of 10. Because I feel like I just didn't even watch it. <laughs> All right.